Hey everyone and welcome back. Um, I've had a ton of questions on first year science, specifically the science timetables. So I thought I'd walk you through each of the timetables and kind of why you should be taking a specific one and then just sharing my personal experience in first year science. So by going to the incoming first year page on the Arts and Science website and scrolling down to first year science timetables, you'll be able to find the three sample timetables. Um, this is timetable A, and definitely if you're planning on going into like the mainstream sciences and you need all of these courses, this is definitely the timetable you should take um, so that you can get like the Math 121 that's the biocalculus, and then you just pick like each one of the lecture sections and the labs. Um, the lecture sections for all of them are 001, uh, and then you need to just pick one of each of the lab sections. Those little like notes beside that are 001 or um, anything like that, then those tell you like which section it is. So timetable B here, um, this is if you're going to be taking the uh, physics 104, physics 106, if you wanted to go into physics after your first year. Um, and yeah, so like if you're not planning on taking physics after first year, you can just take physics 117 to fulfill your physics requirement for a science degree. And then uh, timetable C here is just if you're planning on taking like only one or two of them. There's a few students that um, like they just need biology or they just need chemistry for some of the plans. So they don't have to take all of these and that's why this timetable works. Um, you can see it says there that like if you are taking all these courses, then you should be going with timetable A. Um, and that's just because that's where like all the science students are going to be. And um, it's just the easiest way to get about it. So I personally lived on West Campus in first year, um, so I actually didn't have the issue that many of you are probably worried about right now with like catching the bus to um, West Campus in the morning. Um, I had to catch the bus whenever I needed to go to like my labs or my other classes or even if like I just wanted to eat on Main or anything like that. Um, but I honestly like really enjoyed living on West to be honest with you. Um, because I have my classes there in the morning um, but yeah I have a few things written down here of like why I liked timetable A and like science on West um, and then like a few things of why I don't so my first one is that the cafeteria um, for like all of West Campus and then the lecture hall are in the same building so it's really nice because um, you can just like get up go get breakfast, or if you're busing, you can like bus, eat breakfast on West Campus and not have to worry about getting up extra early to like go to the cafeterias. Um, and then you can eat there, go to your class, um, and then usually you're in class for like three hours or so in the morning. So by the time you're like done class, you're hungry again, or at least I was. So I went back to the cafeteria and I got lunch. Um, and everything was like all in one place, which was really nice. Uh, that leads me to my second favorite reason, and that was that, like, everything is in one place, so Kingston is, like, really cold and windy in the winter, um, not all the time, but, like, some days, so you actually end up not having to really go outside once you get to West Campus, um, for, like, your whole morning, which is nice, because on those really gross, yucky days, you don't want to be trudging to a different lecture hall every 50 minutes and then like having to walk across campus, even though it's only like 10 minutes, um, to get to a cafeteria on main campus and then back to your lecture. Uh, so yeah, I just really enjoyed that aspect. Um, and then, yeah, my third thing was that all of your friends, like a lot of the people that are in sciences like take timetable A, right? So all of the friends that you're gonna make that are gonna be like in your programs or programs similar to you, but definitely in all of your classes, they're all like, right there with you and nobody leaves for those three hours everyone's there so it's really nice because you can just like find a group of people you can sit down with them and then you can just hang out with them while you're like listening to the prof go on and on and like you're taking notes and everything um which is really nice and then yeah it's good because you can like like i said eat breakfast or lunch with them after and kind of make it like a social thing too um, and this is really good to make like study groups or if you have to like meet up with lab partners because everyone's on West Campus So it's really easy to just meet afterwards 
Um, but yeah, those were like my main three things that I liked about Science on West. Um, I really can only think of one thing that I was like, wow, I really didn't like that about um, West Campus Science. And um, that was just that the auditorium is really big, which like I'm pretty sure that's the reason you guys are on West Campus is that it can fit all of you because there's so many. Um, but it's really big, so I found that in the beginning I was like nervous and I didn't know where to sit and I didn't really know anyone, so my um, roommate and I ended up just like going and sitting in the balcony of um, the auditorium, which it's not that bad, it's just like the stage and then like it, come, it goes up with like a bunch of seats, kind of like a movie theater, and then there's like a balcony which goes up again. Um, and there's nothing like on the sides or anything and you can see from everywhere, but I found that when I sat in the balcony, you were just like far enough back that, and you were up by yourselves, so the professor wasn't going to like call you out or anything, so I mean, sometimes I wouldn't be paying attention. Um, but I found that uh, once I sat like in that main section, um, closer to the front, <laughs> I kind of paid attention more. And I actually saw an improvement in my marks at that point. So definitely if you're like concerned about the auditorium being big or anything, you just have to get there like 10 minutes before class is going to start or so. That's what I did and that just like made sure I got a spot um, near like where I wanted to be. And it's not the end of the world, it's just like you have to make sure that you get there before like right before class starts or anything because otherwise it's going to be full. So um, I work in the Faculty of Arts and Science this summer. Um, I'm a registration assistant, which means that like when you call the hotline or whatever, I'm one of the people that answers. Um, and then I just help people kind of figure out their schedules and everything like that. Um, but I actually got the chance to sit down with uh, Professor Abelson. He is the Math 121 prof for the main campus section. And um, he and I just kind of had a chat on like his tips for Math 121. So I know a lot of you will be taking that, so I thought I'd just throw it in this video for you. Um, and then I actually got to work with him on another video, and um, that's going up on like the Arts and Science YouTube page. Um, and that'll just be all about like which timetable you should follow and everything. Um, and so hopefully between these two videos, it's going to be pretty helpful. Uh, but yeah, here's what he had to say. So the two courses, Math 121 on West Campus and Math 121 on Main Campus, both fulfill the same uh, requirements for any degree you're going to take. What we encourage though is if you're interested in a degree in Life Sciences, Biology, or Biochemistry, the West Campus version, all the examples are taken from Biology, so you'll find that the courses fit together really well. The Main Campus course takes examples from a wide variety of disciplines, but it means we can't go quite as deep into them because not everyone has the same background. So it's really your choice which way to go, but if you're interested in that flavor of biology, biochemistry, life sciences, we'd highly encourage the West Campus Math 121 option. So two quick tips for success in Math 121. The first and most important is to keep up with the material as it's going on. Especially in the early weeks, sometimes it feels like review to some students, and then people get a little complacent, and then all of a sudden, when we get to new material, it jumps on them by surprise. So if you just do your homework every week, do your practice problems every week, you'll find you'll stay on top of the material much more easily and much less stress as a result. For a second tip, the best way to learn math is to teach it to other people. So if you can form a study group and just go through practice problems or the homework each week together, you'll find that really improves how quickly you can learn the material. So I hope between my tips and his tips, uh, you kind of have a little bit better of an understanding and feel a little more comfortable. Um, if you have any other questions about first year science, I'm happy to answer them. You can just comment them down below or you can message me privately if that's what you want. I'm wishing for messages to be on the Life at QU Instagram page um, that I created just because sometimes if you message me on Facebook it just gets like a little confusing um, so that might just be the best way that I can contact you back if you have Instagram um, but yeah so hopefully this helped uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next one